Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video, I will explain you complete details about the different types of the steel sections which is used in civil engineering. So basically steel sections are uh, comes under the steel roll sections. Why? Because they are uh, rolled under the steel members which is of circular section. So the, in the manufacturing of the steel roll sections, steel members are subjected to, let us consider this is my steel member. This is, say, this is my steel member are subjected to high temperature and uh, then pressed from a series of the rollers this is, these are the series of the rollers which are stressed for this particular steel uh, member so in order to get the perfect shapes depending upon the shapes and depending upon the our usage depends upon our considerations and depends upon our requirement steel roll sections are classified into major nine types of the category sections okay so in this video i will cover the uh, nine types of the category sections and uh, when we use that particular steel member section in uh, civil engineering construction then after that if any kind of the steel section which is uh, not applicable for the present loading condition system what is the solution for that section also i will explain in this video okay if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics okay let's go to our video so let us consider this is also one of the steel roll section which is of i section so basically the cross sections are mainly related to i section channel section t section angle sections and tubular section these are the major categories okay this is one of the steel roll section of i section now i will show you the uh, real time example for the steel uh, roll sections usage so this is one of the steel structure which is used in the construction of industrial structure and high rise building structure which is related to the i section building the i section buildings are connected with the help of the riveted joints here now you can see these are the, all the riveted joint connections okay the riveted joint connections uh, you can replace with the bolted connections also okay if uh, the efficiency will be increases for the bolted connection when you are compared with uh, reverted joint connections then after that i will show you one more example so this is also one more example which is related to the steel section members which are used in this particular construction okay so this is the bridge, bridge construction majorly so depends upon our usage steel roll sections are classified into nine categories which is related to i section category and channel section category and t section category uh, angle section category hollow section category and flat section category and the steel plate section category isro category as well as issq category okay so the steel roll section first one is related to i section category basically the design considerations of this uh, steel roll section will be comes under uh, depth of the beam as well as the self height of the beam okay so the height should not be exceed nowadays 600 mm okay the complete concepts related to this particular video will be available in my uh, website civilbasics123.com you can directly get the data which is comes under this steel roll section so this is the beam section this is the i section which is used in the construction again in the i section category there are five sections are available which is related to ISLB Indian Standard System of Lightweight Beams ISMB Indian Standard System of Medium Weight Beams ISHB Indian Standard System of Heavy Weight Beams ISWB Indian Standard System of Wide Flange Beams ISJB Indian Standard System of Junior Beams okay so again ISLB sections are used for the use uh, roof construction and uh, where the loads of the structure are less and ISMB structures are generally used in floor beams and ISHB sections are used in column section ISWB sections is used in gantry girders and ISJB sections are used in intel constructions this is the first one related to i section rolled i section now the second one is related to rolled steel section under the steel roll sections also there are four types of the categories are there under the steel roll sections we have the types related to these four categories and the design considerations related to the steel roll sections is also depends upon the depth of the beam as well as the self height of the beam okay so in this first one is related to islc section this c section this one channel section is nothing but this kind of the category okay islc section which is related to indian standard lower weight section ismb mc section indian standard medium channel section isjc section indian standard junior channel section issc section indian standard column section these are the four categories now the next one is related to rolled steel t section this is a shape related to the rolled steel t T section. The designing of this particular T section is based on the total depth of the beam as well as the self height of the member. So generally, this type of the T section we will use it as a compression member, which is related to the column section. So in this category also, there are four types of the beams are there, which is related to ISNT Indian Standard Normal T beams, ISD 
टी इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड डीप लेगेड टी बीम्स आई एस जे बी इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड जूनियर टी बीम्स एंड आई एस एल बी इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड लाइट वेट टी बीम्स नाउ द फोर्थ कैटेगरी विल बी रिलेटेड टू रोल्ड स्टील सेक्शन तो दीज आर द रोल्ड स्टील सेक्शन आई एस एल सेक्शन एंगल सेक्शन रिलेटेड टू एंगल आई एस ए एंगल सेक्शन जनरली वी विल कॉल इट एज आई एस ए एंगल सेक्शन सो इन दिस कैटेगरी द डिजाइन इज बेस्ड ऑन द लेग साइज एज वेल एज द थिकनेस ऑफ द मेम्बर दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट जनरली वी विल यूज दिस टाइप ऑफ द सेक्शन यूज इन रूफ स्ट्रक्चर कंस्ट्रक्शन एज वेल एज द ट्रांसमिशन टवर बेसिकली वी विल सी दिस काइंड ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर इन ट्रांसमिशन टवर इन दिस कैटेगरी ऑल्सो वी हैव द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ द केसेस आर देर विच आर रिलेटेड टू इक्वल एंगल सो आई एस हंड्रेड बाय हंड्रेड बाई टेन इज द एक्साम्पल फॉर द इक्वल एंगल अन इक्वल एंगल ISA 150 by 100 by 10 is the second example and Indian standard bulb angle section. So this is the Indian standard bulb angle section. Basically, it will be consisting of the cross section equation. So this is the Indian standard bulb angle section. Basically, it will be consisting of the cross section here like this bulb angle section. So these type of the bulb angle section will be consisting of the cross section here like this bulb angle section. So these type of the bulb angle section will be consisting of the cross section here like this bulb angle section. So these type of the bulb angle section will be consisting of the cross section here like this bulb angle section. So these type of the bulb angle section will be consisting of the cross section here like this bulb angle section. So these type of the bulb angle section will be consisting of the cross section here like this bulb angle section. So these type of the bulb angle section will be consisting of the cross section here like this bulb angle section. So these type of the bulb angle section will be consisting of the cross section here like this bulb angle section. So these type of the bulb angle section will be consisting of the cross section here like this bulb angle section. So these type of the bulb angle section will be consisting of the cross and the next one is related to rolled halo tube sections they generally the rolled stool uh, tube halo section is also used in compression members which is related to the column constructions so which is comes under the different types of the shapes are available depends upon our consideration rectangular section square section circular section okay depends upon our requirement we will consider that section so the design of halo section rectangular section square section are based on the side thickness as uh, side as well as the thickness and uh, uh circular section is based on the diameter as well as the self fit these are the important points so this is a circular section so next one is related to rolled steel flat section so rolled steel flat section will be consisting of sections here like this only flat member will be exist so it will be consisting of 150 isf 15 this 150 is the length of this particular member as well as the 15 is the thickness of this particular member depends upon your consideration there are different types of the okay the design is based on the width as well as the thickness of the member for this uh, flat sections so this is the example for this and next one is rolled steel plate section the rolled steel plate section will be consisting of two types of the category example ispl 2000 by 1000 by uh, 10 mm is the thickness for this section the steel roll plate section is based on the length width as well as the thickness of the member these are used basically in water tank sections other storage structure built up section columns and built up beams so the next category eighth one will be comes under uh, isro section indian standard round bars indian standard round bars will be consisting of circular in shape generally we will see this in mild steel section why because mild steel section will be consisting of circular bars only so for manufacturing of the circular bar section we will use ISRO section indian standard rounded bar section okay so these are applicable available in the market related to the diameter of the bar so these are basically used as the reinforcement in the beams columns as well as the foundation so the next one as well as the last one is related to ISSQ section indian standard square uh, bar section these are available as a square bar like this so these will be available with issq 12 issq 16 issq 20 these are the some examples related to this so these are the nine categories which are related to uh, i section and uh, angle section as well as the t section halo section flat section and uh, steel plate section is row section if any kind of the building structure which is uh, having higher loading condition uh, if any one of the section is not applicable to provide we have to provide as built up section we will use it as built up section so built up section is nothing but let us consider this is l section and this is the another l section we have to connect this respected bars with uh, riveted joints or something like this otherwise you have i section is there one i section is there we we have to use another uh, bar which is having high amount of the strength so we have to connect this i section like this okay so the basic definitions of the built up bar section will be comes under uh, combination of two or more uh, a steel section which is formed in single structure we will call it as built up bars this built up bar section will be used if the load on the particular structure is not resisting this uh, steel roll section in that particular section only we have to use built up section so this is the complete process about the uh, different types of the steel section which is used in the building construction process if you have any queries about this video please refer my website civilbasics123.com this complete concepts is available in my website civilbasics123.com thank you